LifeTutorials.com. Easy to follow, easy to learn, designed to inspire. Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Shonville, and in this tutorial from FreeLifeTutorials.com, I'm going to teach you how to create a border or a white border around your image in Lightroom, just like what you're seeing here on my screen. So let's dive in and uh, have some fun. So the first step is to go with a clean image. So this image is in, is in raw, it's unedited, unprocessed. I'm gonna quickly go through processing or editing this photo with a clean edit and then I'll show you how to create an actual border uh, that can add a unique look to your photos, whether it's a white border or a black border, but there's some really interesting things we can do. So the first step I'm gonna do with editing any picture is adjust my exposure. So I'm gonna hit the audio adjustments, see what it comes up with much brighter, still pretty bland. I might pull back my exposure a little bit, pull back my highlights a little bit. And all I'm doing is, is gonna go through and process this photo so we've got a little bit of uh, a, a nice template to work with. So uh, don't mind me if I jump through a little bit and I'm just jumping around. I'm basically just getting the photo processed enough um, so that I've got something to work with. There you go, it's looking pretty good. Uh, all I'm doing is enhancing the colors and um, making some adjustments there. I'm also gonna blur out the background a little bit more. It's not a part of this tutorial, but I might as well toss it in. So if you wanna blur out the background of any um, of any photo a little bit more than it is, so this photo starts with what we call a really shallow depth of field. So if you notice where I'm pointing in the very center, uh, it's a really thin area that's in focus. So what's closer, which is below, is out of focus, and what's above, which is farther back, is out of focus as well. We have a very small area actually in focus. And if I want to, enhance or blur out this background even more what you can do is click your brush on the top right hand side of your screen click the word new and then double click the word effect and it resets your brush and then basically go through and uh, create a brush that will help you do that so I want to soften or unsharpen the image so I'm going to basically reduce my sharpening down and also reduce my clarity down and the one I'm going to do is basically take my brush. If you notice here on the screen, I've got a brush with two circles. Uh, the inner circle is the center of the brush. The outer circle is the outer edge of what we call a feather. And I'll go over a different tutorial of what that is specifically. But for now, we have a brush. And I'm just going to take my flow and go higher and basically just start painting. If you notice here, it's painting. It's a bit softer, a bit more bland. And what I'm doing is basically just painting in a lack of sharpness and a lack of clarity. There you go, looking pretty good. So if I, if you want to see what we actually did, if I turn that off, you can actually see the, the adjustments. Um, for example, if I click the word done and zoom in down here, now we're obviously quite zoomed in, but if I turn this brush on and off, you can actually see what we did. So with the brush turned off, and with the brush turned on. You can actually see all of this is blurred out more so and uh, definitely helps out. All right, so now let's say we've got a finished product um, and I want to do a little bit more sharpening. Looking really good, just to bring back the detail in that rock and also a little bit of smoothing. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna say we have our finished product and what we're gonna do is add a creative border that we don't wanna do in Photoshop because we wanna keep things in Lightroom as long as possible. So what we're gonna do is go, scroll down on the right hand side, past your lens corrections, all the way to your effects tab. And if you're going to your effects tab, there's something called a vignette. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with the vignette and it's gonna give us a border. Now let's just bear in mind and we'll have some fun here. So if I click this first option on my vignette, it's called the amount. If I click it and pull it to the right, it has this white haze and some people love that as a final result. I personally don't, but we're almost there. So the next option down is the midpoint. Now I'm gonna put it all the way to the left, put my round of this down and my feather down. And now we have a really thin border on the outside of our image. Now. What that border actually is, is not just a border, it's actually a vignette that we've just refined that happens to look like a border. Uh, so if you want to expand your border a little bit, what you have to do is just reduce your roundness and it makes the border a little bit thicker. And all you're doing is, you're not actually increasing the border, you're just making the, the actual area inside the vignette more round. So if you notice, if I go all the way to 100, it goes into a circle. Because all you're doing is just reducing the square into a circle and that's essentially creating your border. And if you notice here, the edge is fairly sharp. Um, it's a bit soft. We can't actually fix that anymore, but let's just say we reduce our feather down and it softens out that edge. So now it looks like a border, but it's not a truly hard edge and that's a much cleaner edge there. Now let's just say you wanna make a black border. 
all you have to do is go from this top one being the mount and then click and drag all the way to the left and it makes a black border for you. Obviously, if you double click it, it reduces it completely back to zero and essentially to the left creates a black border to the right creates a white border. Now that's using the vignette option to create a border for you. Typically the vignette option, if we reset all of this, if I create a vignette, a vignette's designed to focus your eyes on the center. So typically what a vignette's designed to do here is, a little more. If you notice here, it gets darker on the outside. That's all the vignette does is it essentially darkens the outside of your image. Um, so if I add a vignette, it makes your eyes focus on the center a little bit more. So in general, that is how you can create a unique border inside of Lightroom that will be on your photos. It's not done in Photoshop and it saves you one or two steps. And uh, at the end of the day, it's just a unique thing you can do. So this is uh, my tutorial on how to create a border in Lightroom. Thanks again. My name is Matthew Sean from freelightroomtutorials.com. If you have any questions or comments, please ask. And if you did like the video, just like it and uh, please share and let other people know we exist. And uh, please stay tuned for more tutorials. Have a great night. Freelightroomtutorials.com. Easy to follow, easy to learn, designed to inspire.